Westside Jabo aka Jimmy Bell was a 23-year-old male who resided on the west side of LA. He flew in from Florida and ever since then he took the streets by storm. No, 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 no. Ain't no point in talking to dude, bro. I, I bet. We finna just, I finna just smoke dude right here. Oh, watch, watch, out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Bitch yeah, ass. What, what, what? Look stupid now. Look at this dumb ass. Fuck. <laughs> dumb ass. He froze up when he seen the pole. Exactly. Oh, oh, Gun oh, came oh, out, now he looks excited. Gun came out, now he looks excited. Get out of here, bro. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just let you leave before you get popped, bro. I'm gonna let this leave before you get popped. Simple. Hey, watch him, though. He might pull out a pole. Watch him. Let him pull out a pole. I'm gonna send some shit his way. What? Keep walking this way. I dare him. To... Nigga, what, bro? What, nigga? Fuck you thought this was, bitch ass. Free Fire Gang did it. A member of FFG or West Side Free Fire Gang, a mixed race gang that controlled the west side of LA, he terrorized the other gangs for very long until his unfortunate death in early 2023. FFG has beef with many street gangs such as Ganton Block Mafia Crips, 107 Hoover, Backstreet Crips, and many more factions. J. Bo was involved in the murder of Kayvon Black, a high ranking big homie from the Murder Block Crips. FFG was cool with MBC at one point in time until member 21 Neat from MBC ran into problems with members from FFG which resulted in a tit-for-tat war which resulted in this murder. Take his mask off, bro. Take that nigga mask off. Everybody else, look around. Get homies. You already know he might be out here. Yo, don't move, bro. Don't move, bro. Come down the stairs, nigga. Fall flame at you. Come, come down the stairs for a flame at you, bro. Please, stop it. Yo, come down the stairs or I'm a, I'm a blow, bro. Three, two, down the stairs. Down the stairs for you. Send you. Three, two. You're free fire gang, nigga. FFG also has beef with BPS or Black Pea Stones. This beef took a turn when a car full of BPS members rode into FFG territory trying to make a play. What's the issue, bro? My homies just did they whole set in. What? What? We out. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Did his ass in. Stupid. Got riddled with bullets. Oh! That's the homies over here. Oh! Who that? That's the homie. That's the homie. Oh. Damn! Damn! Oh shit. Let me get out of here. Oh shit, let me get out of here! FFG has been no a lot of wars with gangs from all around LA. There has been many lost members on all sides during these wars and FFG has a long list of homies who passed. Tiny Badass, Jay, Rick, Malik, and many more. This does not mean that they lost these wars with a lot of these wars resulting in the gangs dying out and not being as active anymore. FFG has prevailed through all of this until things came crashing down the day J. Bo died. Die, like, as if I'm not in a car already, screaming outside, great car. Fuck you think this is, a Uber? Or what you think this is, a sneaky link? Start screaming outside, great car. Bro, I'm over here crashing into shit and all that. I'm trying to just tell the homie get in the car.
The death of J-Bo vastly affected FFG. But there are still active homies who are putting on for the hood today such as 667 PJ and 667 Melly even though Melly doesn't get active. The new generation of FFG is slowly forming and has PD and other factions shook. There is a lot of history behind Free Fire Gang and it can be shows in many forms. 667PJ would take it amongst his own hands to get back for J-Bo and Rick. Two people who died in the war against Ganton Block Mafia Crips. He would run into the ops from Ganton Block at the clothing store and pure chaos ensued after the two rivaling factions realized their ops were there. This would not be the only time FFG has tried to murder Danton block members after J Bo passed. All of this heat coming from all sides caused Ganton to become sloppy with their crime which eventually led to their indictment. This concludes our story on the life and death of Westside J. Bo.